that's what your net worth should be measured by. How many people can you call up and be like, yo, can you wire me a million? I'll send you, oh, I, I'm good for it. Oh, you don't have those friends? I do. Oh no, there's no way that, that's because you're a peasant. You don't understand these things. In, in due time, shut the up, be quiet. Think more than four seconds before you speak. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Listen, maybe I'm not wasting my time here. Maybe I'm trying to teach you something that's good for you. Anyways, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> the system is designed to make people fail. Exactly. So it's it's there's a lot of ex ex existential problems that stem even from the beginning. There's a reason I don't have children because it's I'm not in the area or the time of my life where I need them or I want them. So I've instilled a certain level of discipline in my uh, in my life whereby I'm not going to have kids. And a lot of people oh, make decisions that. in their life whereby they end up having children, and that's a big responsibility that they can't assume. So they end up neglecting the children in order to make ends meet. And that's just the nature of, of life. And I don't have the ultimate answer, but I will say that if you are in that situation, that you can still level up and you can still become a good parent with that interaction and still give your child the necessary support to become uh, in incredibly intelligent. And especially if you can teach them how to think, because if you can teach them how to think, then they can question the system and they can be inside of it, but realize how much of a, of a, of a nonsensical thing it is. I have <laughs> kids in high school uh, that message me and they tell me all the time. And of course, it's very just funny to read that these kids are, you know, questioning things and they're using how they realize their professor said this or that and that it was stupid and it was bullshit and the reasoning for it a healthy thing to do at the at the minimum what do you consume like what music do you consume do you watch movies like what are your inputs nature no music rarely there's a playlist by the the movie the pianist mm -hmm. fiery soundtrack playlist i have that on repeat almost every single day and just lo-fi chill stuff that puts me into flow state nothing crazy no bitches no rap music i listen to rap music but i'm very selective on the songs i'm very selective on the messaging i listen to the lyrics i'm very aware of of, of the words that are that are mentioned and then I like there's some remixes and stuff like that old school rap that I'll tap into sometimes but super selective movies rarely I think I watched two movies in the last two years and they were kind of intentional you know we were in Dubai we went to go watch the new Avatar movie which was, was like a two billion dollar budget and this was after the Argentina World Cup win so it's like ultimate ecstasy what's going to be it well you're going to go watch Avatar <laughs> so we book out the entire theater within 20 minutes we're just like ah that we're out like another i don't want to see the blue characters out here running around like whatever yeah not a big movie guy either uh very introspective love books love reading uh and love exploring on the internet honestly there's a, a lot of good good information a plethora of of archives to de dive deep into yeah just focusing on leveling up my body as well becoming intuitive with that intuitive with the food that i consume and just having a lot of self conversations about uh what i want to become yeah just enjoying the process he was playing Spanish guitar when I walked in. Yeah, so. chill out. <laughs> Can confirm. A random person watched this video, right? Luke Belmar told me my inputs should be good literature, right? I need to eat well. I should stop watching all these bullshit movies. Uh, maybe not listen to as much rap music. What are like some tangible inputs, right? That I can go find r right now that regular people have access to because you're on a journey, brother. Super, yeah, okay, right? so super basic right now. One, go get spring water. Don't drink Dasani purified water. It's going to fuck you up. Number one, right? This is super essential. Two, once you have a little bit of money, start eating super clean, super organic. Understand that the food that you consume has pesticides, has chemicals. You want to be eating nutritious whole foods, not processed foods, not garbage. You do not want to be using Teflon pants. They have forever chemicals. It's known this to be true. extremely poisonous. So get a cast iron. It costs you 20 dollars buy the cast iron if you have an air fryer don't use a microwave microwave you're literally cooking your food you're cooking killing all the all the all the good stuff in there all the vitamins all the minerals it's completely killing the food you're literally nuking it to just warm it up don't use the microwave microwave period uh don't drink sodas don't drink gatorade don't drink any of this shit. Water and sometimes organic coconut water, super good for electrolytes. Add some chlorophyll in there, add some lime, some sea salt. Remineralize your water if, if you put it through a reverse osmosis system. I'm giving you the whole rundown here, my G. Uh, neglect bullshit music, neglect uh, celebrities. Don't give a f celebrities with fancy chains and fancy music videos when you meet him in real life ain't that special so don't have like this hero kind of perspective towards people even ourselves understand that everybody is human you don't have to be so harsh on yourself with false reality and false expectations of how the world works exercise find good friends good relationships people that uh, are positive and that have their your best interest in mind and that are willing to support you on your journey but also challenge you to level up never lie to yourself be honest on where you are and know that at any time you can control the outcome of your life if you choose to.
And I think that if people take these principles I've mentioned in the last three to four minutes, they're going to have a phenomenal 2023. I like the action items, but how do you think about mental health in general? Do exactly what I mentioned in the previous four minutes. If you have mental health issues, do it for 30 days and then let me know if you feel better. The habits, the things that I've told you are designed to make you have a better life. For example, food. Did you know that there is a happy chemical that is produced in your gut? 95% of that chemical, it's called serotonin, is produced in your gut. If you have a healthy gut, you're gonna have a healthy mind. You can program your body to be healthy by ingesting and having a healthy gut. The other 5% is generated in the brain. So what would I tell myself? If I wanna produce happy chemical, I gotta eat right. So do the things that I mentioned in the last four to five minutes, test it for 30 days, and then let me know if it's good or if it's not. My G. <laughs> it, it is true and isn't it isn't it convenient how some of the most simple life principles are never mentioned to, to us I, none of these these are all things i've learned in the last three years independently gut health is connected to mind health habits are connected to how i feel luke i, I appreciate you g i appreciate you bro you, it's been a good session you spread wisdom as always i think i hope at least this will be a very very valuable experience it's going to be a very soon. valuable experience we're going to do it again hopefully you join us in switzerland when we go shred the slopes over there tomorrow we are hitting the snow the snowmobiles and then we're gonna we go are, shred we are 100 percent. okay <laughs> we don't do this peasant <laughs> in the mountains the fuck bro when we come out here if i'm coming all the way from puerto rico and i have to do two flights to get here dude we're going all out that's how we vacation bro luke belmar flies first class right yeah bro sometimes <laughs> If you're inside Europe, bro, have you done Europe trying to move around inside of Europe? It's the worst. It doesn't matter if you book first class. They have these like cheap budget air things. It's the worst inside of Europe, bro. I, I, so that's the exception right there. I, I And I say this very as respectfully as possible to the, the conference who, who booked my flight. Last time I, I went out to Europe, <laughs> I, I flew uh, basic economy in, I don't remember what the airline is called. It's a red logo. It's some... Worst flight of my life. The point is, it's the worst eight hours of my entire life. It's the life. worst, bro. I hate traveling in Europe. I love going to Europe. I hate flying around Europe. It was a I terrible agree. experience. We're gonna start having to PJ around Europe. So that's the next goal we gotta get. It. Just like the pirates used to, I think our entrepreneurs are very much like pirates. They're kind of on their quest for freedom. We need our own ships. No safety net. We need our own ships. Ships in the sky. Well, they say that- Pirates. You, you know this better than I do. Wait, you know this better than I do. They say after, 20 million, not that much changes in life, unless you want to buy a private jet or a yacht. Is this true? Yeah. Yeah. Do you own either? No, bro. No chance. Why would I own two headaches? I so, will literally pay, I will pay somebody to lend me their, their headache for a few hours. Brother, money. Just give me a ton of money. I don't need assets. Okay. I need to move fast, smooth. I need to know the guy that owns 50 jets, that owns 50 things that'll let me use them at cost because I hooked them up with whatever, whatever, whatever. And I'm his daughter's uh, whatever at their wedding and I build good relationships and good connections. Dude, the, the, the entire world is built off of connections and relationships. All these politicians, they don't want that. They're riding around on the, on, the, on the people's money, brother. So you don't have to own a jet to ride in one, but uh, maybe we'll, we'll share, we'll share a, an aerial ship. Okay, soon. okay, I'm sorry, I know I said it, but yeah, I have like, wait, we gotta have one more thing. <laughs> okay, go for it. You said earlier, you said, cause camera wasn't on, you said, I believe you said access is wealth. Mm. Explain that quickly. So access, is people think your net worth is determined by the amount of money that you have. So when you have a philosophy that your net worth is simply measured by the money that you have, then you have a scarcity mentality. Your net worth should, you, should be measured by the amount of access to money that you have. The people that are running the Federal Reserve and running the highest levels of banking, for example, they are the richest guys because they, under, they administer the money. They control the money supply. So they can direct the money wherever they want it. It doesn't matter how much you're worth, what matters is how much access to money do you have? And that's what your net worth should be measured by. How many people can you call up and be like, yo, can you wire me a million? I'll send you, oh, I, I'm good for it. Oh, you don't have those friends? I do. So I can tell you it's real. Oh no, there's no way that, that's because you're a peasant. You don't understand these things. In, in, in due time, shut the up, be quiet. Think more than four seconds before you speak. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Listen, maybe I'm not wasting my time here. Maybe I'm trying to teach you something that's good for you. Anyways, just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so the point is, it's gotta level up, bro. Maybe we'll get a jet. Maybe we don't. It's been a good session. Yeah, fuck the it. Chef, the chef gave us a nice little organic vegetable soup. We had the best oysters. One of some of the best were, oysters I've ever had. They were pretty good. All organic spring water. Maybe, dude, it'd be fire if we if we uh, do this again in uh, Switzerland. We will. Next time we'll be in Switzerland. And I can fire. tell you there will not be a plastic water bottle in sight. There's not one here either. I tried to drink tap water earlier. He picked me up on my... No, no chance, no chance. But hey, my G, Luke Belmar, everybody. Thank you so much for coming Appreciate on the channel. Day. Thank you to the man behind the camera. That's it.